Hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Oscar. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're watching this video, please subscribe, share, comment, and like. And also, if you are coming as a returning viewer, please, I appreciate that. And for those who've been keeping in touch with me, I really appreciate and for your feedback. Thank you so much. And uh, the reason I'm here today is um. I've been talking about being a student athlete and what does it entail. But I had one of the most crucial uh, Thanksgiving holiday, and I had two of Division One top college runners who paid me a visit, and we had a candid conversation about being a student athlete. And uh, we discuss different things, and um, we share a lot. I've been a college student uh, athlete, and it means a lot. And um, uh, I discuss all overall from being in class, from maintaining GBA, and then going all the way and performing, you know. These are two college students who were top 10 in just concluded cross country division one. I mean, D1. They did amazing job. They performed pretty very well, and I'm really proud of them. Some are fresh, still a uh, sophomore, and they've done amazing job, you know. It's not an easy thing, and um. I'm rooting them for the indoor and outdoor uh, to do better than they have done right now. And they really, really to cheer them and um, uh, do them for what they have done. So we had a cheat chat and um, uh, I hope they will do better things in future. And here is what I ask them. The challenges they face daily being a student uh, the changes they feel they have had since they came from Kenya and the difference, the culture difference they've had from home to here. I know it's kind of not easy thing to divulge, but uh, it, it means a lot. One of the fascinating things I had from them is, you know, coming here and not knowing to use laptop or computer. It's quite interesting, you know. We have a lot of resources in this country, and uh, th these are the things we face each and every day as a student or people from different countries. We come to an institution where we don't know how to use things and we pretend to do. But what if you believe you can do that? Go for it. And for all those student athletes who are watching, please listen to what. They had to say, you know, they just were like you. They were in student camp, they applied schools, and now they're performing very well in Division One school. Here is what they had to say, and I hope you listen to all what I've asked. And I hope you enjoy your time. Keep on watching, keep on subscribing, and I hope you have a good day. Bye bye. Hello, hello. My fans, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today, I have a, I have two of my kids uh, who are uh, NCAA national champion and just completed uh, cross country. Uh, please, would you tell me your name? Sure. Yes. Uh, my name is Billy Chukru. And you with, you with me, uh, Ila. Yeah, my name is Ila Olamomoy. Okay. Uh, uh, Pila and uh, Inda, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, Pila, what can you tell? Uh, can you tell me what country is the uh, Oklahoma State University? Sure. Yeah. Well, what brings me to Oklahoma is I got scholarship there last year August. I came there and joined the the cross country track and field team over there. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you you've been transitioned from Kenya to. Uh, being one of the top uh, students in OSU, uh, you 
recently to a All American National Championship. What have you learned from that race? What experience you came from there? Well, uh, what I what I learned from firstly, I I race like last year nationals, race indoor, outdoor, and now I race cross country and I. I found myself doing all American for for all seasons, and what I learned from that is just being consistent, believing in yourself, being focused, uh, listening to everything what your coaches tell you. So you've transitioned. You've been all American. What are your future plans? Are you uh, uh, going to be? Wanting to be a national champion, or maybe you're thinking about being a professional runner. Well, I think um, my focus now is maybe to become a professional, professional runner some some days come. Okay, perfect. Okay, uh, Ilda, um, I know you were uh, one of uh, top athletes in Alabama. Could you tell me? How athletics has impacted your life? Mm, uh, I just came last year to join Mercy and Flo for women's, and we just training together. And then I just saw Mercy when I was still in Kenya. She saw running fast, and then I saw excited to come to join the team, and uh, because <coughs> it's my teammates, then we just training together. So I just improving last year. I ran uh, last year national top 10, but I just ran sixth. Then this year, I think I improved from sixth to fourth. So my season this year, I just ran good. Yeah. So that's a great thing to learn. Uh, I've been following your racing uh, all the way from Juhot to uh, top school, you've been consistent. What are your plans uh, going forward from there? Because now you're going to indoor. What are your plans? Oh, then I'm going to December this month, next month, uh, second, going to do 5K. Then I need to improve my time because last year I ran 15, 17. Maybe this year I need to try like 15, 10 to improve my time. That's awesome. So, uh, Pilar, uh, what, what, what's your message to all other Kenyans who wanted to come to the United States? What, what, uh, what are you telling other people are you, in terms of uh, being uh, honest, disciplined, voice? Uh, what, what's your message to all the other Kenyans who are student athletes? Uh, well, I think like uh, back at home, Kenya, there is some so many youths They are running really <coughs> good and they really want chance to come to to get the chance to come to America, and what I am just telling them is just to be, to be disciplined, think focus, and they'll get here and they'll continue with their passion. Okay, that's yeah. uh, a amazing message. So, Hilda, uh, what are the challenges do you think most uh, student athletes face, and what are the uh, and of them being Here? Yeah. I think some challenges are maybe food. When you just come from Kenya, then the climate maybe is cold. Then uh, the country, is like, like Kenya is not cold like here. So that is the challenge because we go to trade, trade me to do training. Then maybe you don't know to run in trade me. But you're supposed to do in treadmill like workout, and you do run like fifty minutes. Then you don't know what to do, but you're supposed to work to to run in treadmill. So like you have a coach, he just give you the workout you're supposed to do because outside is cold. So that is I is like challenge oh, for some Kenyans. I'm sorry, but it's like so. My last question to both of you, and I'm gonna start with. Uh, is like uh, I'm sorry for that. No, uh, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I'm gonna start with Pila. I'm sorry, but can you tell me randomly uh, how do you 
balanced team in class and running at the same time and still perform well. Oh yeah. First thing, first thing when I came here um, last year, actually like um, coming coming from Kenya, coming to America, everything seems to be overwhelming and with time I just uh, get used to it and for for me to 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 balance for both class and track is just to keep time, being disciplined, becoming focused, yeah. Uh, Ilda, um, what, what, what's your take on that? Uh, classes? Yeah, what's your challenge in student athletes and being student and maintaining your grades together? I can say it's hard. Like last year when I just came from Kenya, I don't know to use a laptop. That is my first time to use laptop here. So I just trying to do my assignment then you can go to maybe coach sometimes, then you can ask the questions, or you need help, then you can get help. But it's not hard, but because it, it's like one month, then you, you'll be good. Yeah. So it's nice having you here, and uh, thank you for your time, and I'm wishing all the best in your entire cross country, and all indoor and outdoor. I wish you all the best, and uh, I know you guys are too competitive, I wish you, I don't know who's going to win, but all the best in your races, in coming races. Thank, thank you, you thank so you. much. Yeah. So what do you tell fans? Um, just to, to subscribe on your page. What about yeah. you? Yeah, subscribe everyone when you're there. Okay, fans, Video. please follow uh, Ilda. Uh, what's yeah. your handle in GHA? Uh, my name is Ilda Olemomoy in YouTube. So you can go to my YouTube channel, then you can subscribe to me. Okay, do you have a YouTube channel? No, I don't have one yet, but I'm, learn I'm planning to get one soon. So if I get one there, please follow my YouTube channel, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you. And may God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.